a very good evening to one of the present here. Good evening, sir. So let us quickly start off with the business session. Uh, now we have two updates. One is from our VP, Toastmaster Shiva. Uh, good evening, fellow Toastmasters and esteemed guests. Next week we have uh, our club contests, the international speech contest and the evaluation contests. And the roles there are a bit different and they have already been assigned in advance and it will be an amazing meeting. You will see the best of our club battle it out, you know, in these contests. So I uh, urge everyone to come there and attend and have that different experience. Uh, with that, over to the president. Thank you, Toastmaster Shiva. Now can we have the update from our BPM, Toastmaster Sharane? Uh, good evening, everyone. For the renewal, Rockstar reloaded. We wanted uh, 20 people to renew for the club to get a standee and for individual members to get a badge. So there have been 18 people who have renewed until today and I request all of you uh, to just contribute to this if this renewal is completely voluntary. Thank you and back to the President. Thank you, Rosman Sharane. Now the sergeant can take over. A very good evening fellow Toastmasters and esteemed guest. Once upon a time, uh, communication meant handwritten letters and it took days for it to travel, uh, it took days for the message to travel to the right person. From horse-drawn car carriages to high-speed airplanes, from storytelling to movies and big desktop computers becoming uh, replaced by small handy devices which will easily fit into the pocket and uh, that gives in, uh, any information that you need instantly. We have seen a drastic evolution over, over the years. Today, let us take a moment to celebrate the truly remarkable human intelligence, that unique capacity to think, re, uh, to think about the reason uh, and innovate gave birth to the artificial intelligence, AI. AI has transformed how we live, how we work, how we interact and what not. We made AI to be our helpful sidekick, making, to make our life much more simpler. But with all this tech magic, we must be wise. We should use our minds uh, to ensure that AI is nice, fair and helpful for others. And, our and after all, it's our intelligence that helps the helps us to grow, bring out the best in us and help each, other, help each other grow as well. Let us give a cheer to our smart human minds. We made awesome gadget and AI companions. May our intelligence guide us to, to create a future where technology serves humanity with kindness and fairness. To enhance our focus on the human intelligence, let us, uh, amidst the area of era of AI, uh, let's silence our phones and I'll give 10 seconds to do so. Uh, now to delve deeper into the theme and share his insightful views on AI, we have a remarkable individual amongst us who holds a BCom degree from Transcend Group of Institution and who is currently pursuing his MBA at Christ University. Apart from academics, his interest lies in playing chess, badminton and he is an enthusiastic dancer. He has also... Um, he is also a certified yoga instructor from S. Vyasa, deemed to be university. Ladies and gentlemen, let's extend our warm welcome to our President Toastmaster Ujwal with a resounding round of applause. ChatGPT, ChatGPT, ChatGPT. I don't like it. I avoid. But ChatGPT likes me. Can't avoid it. Thank you, Toastmaster Pavani, for such a lovely introduction. A very good evening to all the fellow Toastmasters and my esteemed guest. I can see one guest in the meeting today. Can you please introduce about yourself and let us know how we got to know about our club? <coughs> good evening, everyone. Myself, Akshay Sutta. I got to know about uh, this club. From my friend Saket. Nice. Uh, I am studying my engineering okay. in a global academic course. Thank you. Thank you. I 
I welcome you to all that. <laughs> now, can we have our uh, acting sergeant Adam, uh, acting secretary, to read out the MON for? Oh, my sorry. Yeah. Can I have the associate secretary to read out the MON? Thank you so much, President. Good evening, fellow Toastmasters, and welcome guests. Here are the minutes of the meeting number 1247 held on 22nd of January 2024. Theme The Butterfly Effect, Word of the Week, Juggernaut. The business session started at 6.21 p.m. and was chaired by President Toastmaster Ujwal. In the business session, uh, the points were addressed. Vice President Education Toastmaster Sipa Prashad made the following uh, announcement. For the meeting on 29th of Jan, two slots are booked and all other uh, roles are open. Interested members were requested to contact him for the same. Vice President Membership Toastmaster Sharani announced that 10 members had already renewed their membership. She asked that members who were interested in earning a Toastmaster badge with their name to contact her. Once she heard from te uh, 10 interested members, only then the club would go ahead and apply for the badges because the badges would be awarded only if 20 members renewed their membership by uh, Jan 31st. The regular meeting started at 6.23 p.m. Started around <coughs> Toastmaster Apurva started the meeting with an introduction about the theme and later handed over the charge to President Toastmaster Ujwal. President Toastmaster Ujwal opened the meeting, spoke on the theme, and introduced the master of the ceremony, Toastmaster Pavni. Master of the ceremony, Toastmaster Pavni, spoke on the theme and introduced the uh, role takers of the day. Uh, role uh, takers were Timer Toastmaster Saket, Accounter Toastmaster Punit, Grammarian Toastmaster Gajendra, PP Evaluator Toastmaster Sharanyam. The prepared speech session had the following speeches. They had, there were two speech speakers. Speaker number one, Toastmaster Chetan Bashist, uh, was attempting level one project two. Speaker number two, Toastmaster Mamta, was attempting level one project four. Individual evaluator were Toastmaster Raja and Toastmaster Jyoti Rao. The table topic session was conducted by Toastmaster Majabin and had ten number of speakers. The general evaluation was conducted by Toastmaster uh, Lakshmi. The winners of the uh, week were Best Prepared Speaker, Toastmaster Chetan. Best Evaluator, Toastmaster Raja. Best Table Topic Speaker, Toastmaster Gauri, Gaurav. Sorry. Best uh, Role uh, Taker, Tabji, Toastmaster Shiva Prasad. Best Role uh, Taker, MTG, Toastmaster Lakshmi. The Acting President, Toastmaster Shiva Prasad Sharma, closed the meeting at 8.13 p.m., which was followed by the National Anthem. Thank you and back to you. Thank you, Toastmaster Mezubin. Are there any amendments for the MOM? If not, I shall consider it as accepted and open meeting number 1248. No one had believed that one day we would be using the smartphones. No one had thought that GPS would make our life easier. No one had even predicted that the cashless payments would even exist. And no one had dreamt of using artificial intelligence in this 21st century. But this 21st century changed the world impossible to I am possible. This is the era filled with technology, innovation, and AI. And of course, how can I even forget not, not talking about my Apad Bandhava? This time, it is not Sai Snail and it is Chat GPT, where I eat, talk, walk, sleep and what not. This is how I use ChatGPT in my MBA program, where it may be writing decision sheets for the case studies or writing or creating a blog for the new project or creating content for the presentations or writing SOPs for the corporate. All these thousand problems, only one solution that is ChatGPT. And let me tell you, at the starting of my second semester, I made up my mind in such a way that I won't be using this ChatGPT for the rest of my second sem. But me being me, just after taking this oath, within a matter of one hour or so, I started uh, writing the prompt for the ChatGPT, stating that how can I deliver an impromptu speech that would impress our Prabhakara sir. But never mind, all I wanted to make you all understand that this is how artificial intelligence has been in use with the human intelligence which is making our life more easier and super fast. 
but let us all keep in mind that artificial intelligence was invented by human intelligence and not by ai itself as the saying goes you can have a data without the information but you cannot have the information without the data in the similar way we can have the human intelligence without the artificial without the artificial intelligence but we cannot have the artificial intelligence without the human intelligence so to speak more about this topic we have a special person around among us who is a bcom graduate from transcend group of institutions and she is a person who loves to do mandalas and she is a mandala artist her hobby is uh, reading books and her dream location is australia so without any further ado let's welcome our acting master of ceremonies for the day toast master pavani for the standard round of applause session today so just to connect the theme with the toastmasters um i would just say that in 1924 we we didn't know that like today it would be this uh, um fast the technology would be this fast and i i just want to tell that ralph sees madly knew that communication is important and taking into account the artificial intelligence today um it has helped us build more communication i would say that in 1924 nearly a century ago dr ralph c smedley founded toastmasters with a vision to improve leadership and communication skills uh he started with a small gathering in ymca santana california little did, he did not know that it would grow into a global movement and uh, now we have 2 lakh 70000 plus members across 148 countries with 14200 plus clubs uh, and mekon communication club is one such successful club uh, which was established in the year 1998 a typical toastmasters meeting consists of three sessions uh, first is the prepared speech session where the speakers get the desired amount of time to prepare for a specific topic of their choice Uh, according to their guidelines or according to the pathway second is the table topic session where the it is an impromptu session where the to- speakers are called upon randomly and given a topic for which they have to respond for a minute or two <coughs> lastly the general evaluation session where the general evaluator will be evaluating the proceedings of the meeting and the individual evaluators will be evaluating the prepared speech speakers so now uh, it's time to call the tabji role takers and request the tabji role takers to kindly introduce uh, give a brief introduction about your roles uh, from where you are seated so firstly we have the timer uh, toastmaster gajendra good evening for the toastmaster and guests as a timer i'll time all the role takers table topic speakers prepared speeches and evaluation I will also alert each speaker of the time they have left using the green, yellow, and red cards, which donate specific timings. Prepared speeches should be five to seven minutes in length. At five minutes, I will be raising the green card. At six minutes, I will be raising the yellow card. And at seven minutes, I will be raising the red card. Table topic speakers should limit their remarks to no more than two minutes. At one minute, I will be raising the green card. At one minute thirty seconds, I will raise the yellow card. And at two minutes, I will raise the red card. The individual evaluation should be between two to three minutes. At two minutes, I will raise the green card. At two minutes thirty seconds, I will raise the yellow card. And at three minutes, I will raise the red card. I will give my report at the end of the meeting. Thank you. Uh, next, we have our account for today, Toastmaster Vijay. Good evening, Toastmasters. Welcome, sir. The purpose of The purpose of our counter is to note more use words and filler sounds spoken by all the speakers during the meeting. Words may be inappropriate interjections such as "you know," "so," etc., and filler sounds like "a," uh, "um," "are." Uh, I will note all these things and report during general general evaluation when called upon. Thank you, and back to MC Adri. Our PP evaluator for today, Toastmaster Chetan. Good evening, folks. Uh, 
as the BP evaluator for the day, there are three rules that I would like to monitor. Firstly, uh, everyone should enter and exit the door during applause. Second, uh, I request everyone to keep their phones on silent. And finally, uh, avoid speaking about sex, religion, and uh, politics. It's because you can link virtually any topic to this and speak about it, so avoid speaking about it. Uh, Good evening, fellow Toastmasters and welcome guests. I'm the Grammarian for today's meeting and I'll keep a note of all the good usages and not so good usages. And the word of the week is alleviate, meaning make suffering, deficiency, or a problem less severe. The usage is the table topic master alleviated the lack of energy in the meeting. Thank you. Thank you, Tabji team. Uh, let us quickly jump into the first session, prepared speech session. Before I call upon the first speaker, I would like to call the individual evaluator, Toastmaster Gaurav, to read out the project guidelines. The purpose of this project is to practice applying feedback and serve as a speech evaluator during a club meeting. The purpose of the speech is for the member to present a speech and receive feedback from the evaluator. Notes for the evaluator. If you know you will be evaluator ahead of the meeting, communicate with the speaker to learn about them and their goals for the first evaluation and feedback project. Be sure to set aside enough time in your schedule to meet with the speaker after the speech to review the evaluation and answer any questions they may have. The member has spent enough time as a, writing a speech to present at a club meeting. About this speech, the member will deliver a well-organized speech on any topic. Focus on the member's speaking style. Be sure to recommend the improvements that the member can apply to the next speech. The speech may be humorous, informational, or any style the member chooses. The member will ask you to evaluate their second speech at the future meeting. Uh, all the best to the speaker, Bradley. Thank you, Toastmaster Gaurav. The first speaker for today is a BCom graduate and an interior design graduate from SBMJ College. She loves playing sports like badminton, basketball, cricket, and table tennis. Her day is incomplete without any workout. She is also a big time foodie and also health conscious at the same time. She loves to travel and is an adventurous person. She joined Toastmaster to, became, to become a confident person and a better speaker today. The first speaker is Toastmaster. I'm sorry, one second. Uh, the speaker is attempting level one project four from the presentation mastery with the speech titled A for Alexa. A for Alexa. With a huge round of applause, please help me welcome our first speaker, Toastmaster Apurva. <laughs> How many of you here can imagine staying without your phones for a week? Give me a raise of hands. Really? Yeah. <laughs> you can imagine we can't stay. Most of us can't stay, can be. This is how addicted we are to technology these days. Good evening, Sir Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, and your guest. Back when I was in school, all I had was a cable TV and a landline phone. Hence, I was lucky to spend most of my time with friends and family. This, I feel, the current generation really misses out on. Speaking of current generation, my son, Avya, comes to my mind. It all started when he was five months old and the COVID lockdown was declared. Hence, growing up, he was he had limited human interaction and got exposed to gadgets very soon. I guess Avyan was around 10 or 11 months old and I was visiting my parents. One morning, after I fed him breakfast, I asked my dad to carry him. At that particular moment, my dad was on the sofa using an iPad. A quick question. 
what is the most common four digit simple password one would use on the ipad especially by elders any guesses any guesses one two three four yes zero 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 four zeros and this was the password of my dad's ipad as well abhya who was sitting on my dad's lap took the ipad which was close by and starts tapping on it until the screen was on then when it asked for the passcode he clicks goes on clicking on zeros continuously until he manages to unlock the ipad my dad was surprised this little guy who can barely speak a word managed to unlock an ipad abhyan further taps on the google icon oh, oh, activates the mic and starts blabbering after a few seconds he swipes from the bottom of the screen opens the multitasker and starts closing all the apps one by one by swiping up my dad was taken aback he was like what just happened what on earth was this the thing was my dad always used the middle button for everything he didn't even know that hand gestures existed abhyan further swipes left and right in search of the youtube icon clicks on it and starts playing coco melon his favorite nursery rhyme playlist my dad just looked in amazement he called my mom and me over to show we both were left equally aghast and that was the moment when i realized that abhyan had constantly seen me and his dad used the ipad and hand gestures he had learned it all by mere observation then i was not even over this incident a new scenario popped up abhyan like every toddler these days has been fascinated by amazon alexa every time you call it alexa the lights turning on and it answering back always grabs his attention i have been using it from the time he was a baby for playing songs and nursery rhymes growing up it was his favorite pastime to be around it what i didn't realize at that particular moment was that he was so so mesmerized by it that even before he called me amma he wanted to call it alexa <laughs> suddenly i started to feel insecure i was like no way in this world i would let my son's first word first word be alexa after all i gave birth to him so it better be amma all of a sudden my competition was alexa or aika as he called it i started to ensure he heard the word amma like 100 times in a day I even made him sit on my lap with eye to eye contact showing my lip movements saying a ma but nothing seemed to work Next I started watching YouTube videos and googling how to get babies to say amma the obsession was real Abhya still wanted to just say Alexa. I was like, Abhya still wanted to just say Alexa. I, I then, it felt like team technology against team mama. Abhya then. I I was like enough of this it's time to hide it I finally hid it in the cupboard I was finally calm I thought I had won but the very next day Alexa was back on the side table 
when I inquired, I got to know that my husband had connected it back because my son was asking for Ika. Now, I was in a fix. I couldn't obviously reveal about my insecurity, but at the same time, Alexa had to go. And that's when I came up with this brilliant idea of convincing my husband that excessive usage of technology is really bad for kids and finally managed to get rid of it. Abhyan has told his first word. Any guesses what it was? Alexa. No. Amma, it was. Mission accomplished. It felt like win of mankind over technology. We humans have got so addicted to gadgets these days that we are almost replacing human bonds with gadgets, just like the theme of the day. Fellow Toastmasters, it's time we alleviate the use of gadgets and focus on human interactions and human relationships. Over to the MC. Thank you, Toastmaster Apurva. Next, uh, before calling upon, before I move on to the second speaker, I would uh, request the individual evaluator, Toastmaster Shiva, to read out the project guidelines. Thank you, Master of Ceremonies. Uh, the second speaker is attempting level two, project one, understanding your leadership style project. Uh, the purpose of this project is for the member to identify his or her primary leadership style or styles. The purpose of this speech is for the member to share some aspect of his or her primary leadership style or discuss leadership styles in general. Notes for the evaluator during the completion of this project, the member responded to a questionnaire to help identify his or her primary leadership style. About this speech, the member will deliver a well-organized speech about some aspect of leadership styles. Uh, the member may choose to speak about his or her own leadership style or leadership styles in general and their impacts. Speech may be humorous, informational or any style the member chooses. The speech should not be a report on the content of the Understanding Your Leadership Style project. Uh, the duration of the speech is 5 to 7 minutes. All the rest of the speaker, back to the Master of Thank you, Master Shiva. Our next speaker for the day is a multi-talented individual who has constant will to learn. She is a BCom graduate from Transcend Group of Institutions and uh, currently she is pursuing MBA at Christ University. She is passionate about the subject Sanskrit. She loves to bake, sketch and currently she is taking calligraphy classes. Please put your hands together for Toastmaster Sharani with the speech titled A Culture for Exploring. about being perfect or leadership is not always about determining the goals that have to be achieved. Master of Ceremonies, fellow Toastmasters and dear guest present here. Coming from a background of a family who just does not have leadership in blood but has developed leadership through experience. My father being a director of one of the public limited company, him being a state basketball team captain him being number one in orthopedic industry for many years and still owning a company which is leading in diagnostic and surgical instruments. And my mother leading a group of physiotherapists where she has treated some great players like Sachin Tendulkar and Rahul Dravid. I had a lot of experience seeing them uh, perform all these leadership experiences and I am also extremely blessed to have many leadership roles that I could implement and I could also learn about the different leadership styles that I could implement there and which works right for me, which does not and what best suits for my personality. My leadership journey started when I entered my first grade. You know there are these one or two kids in every class who is mostly hangout plays in teacher staff room. It's all about uh, complaining about other kids and talking about uh, how other kids are not doing well and how this kid is doing well and earning those brownie points, that annoying kid was me. And um, I was a class representative for, for continuous three to four years in my school. The leadership style I had experienced here is bureaucratic. 
bureaucratic because I had seen my father and I have been brought up also like that where uh, there were rules implemented at my house also which I had to follow up and the whatever uh, situation that I had to face should have had to be faced immediately. So I had followed bureaucrat uh, bureaucratic rules. And when I entered seventh grade, I was elected as a prefect. There was this one line which my chairman told in the induction ceremony, which will remain throughout my life. He just rearranged this perfect word and called it perfect. He told perfects are always supposed to be perfect. So whichever role I take or whatever I want to do, this is one line that strikes that I always have to be perfect and I strive to be that. So the role, uh, at this point of time, I understood that bureaucratic is not what I wanted to follow and I started following associative leadership style. This style is nothing but being united, taking team's decision. So this time, this talk, it went really well for the team. It went well for the team, but not for me, because as a leader, I wanted to take up decisions. I wanted to take up the lead. But here, I gave an opportunity for the whole team to take up the decisions. And now, at my pre-university, I was a class representative. And at this point of the time, I knew I wanted to just be like my chairman of Transit Group of Institutions. And I followed coaching type of leadership. This leadership is nothing but keeping one person's personality in mind and individual's growth in mind and also making them realize their potential. Realizing my potential, I nominated myself for the role of Sergeant at Arms at our club in Toastmasters. I was used to talking to teachers, taking care of the class, handling the students and organizing the fest. But this was very new to me. So the leadership style I could implement here is innovative style. So getting varieties of snacks every week, having the freedom to uh, get varieties of snacks and then introducing the president in a unique way and starting the meeting in a creative way was what I experienced here. Later, the role of secretary came and I started using altruistic leadership method. So this leadership method does not contribute directly to the role or directly to the goal of the organization, but it aligns. So what I did here is that I just aligned my goals towards the executive committee's goal. Having all the leadership experiences and having attributes like communication, focus and decision making, I wanted to join Christ University and I sat for an interview. There were various situational questions that were asked for me and I had crisp answers, credits, toast masters. And because of this, I got selected there. The first day of my college, I saw a group of leaders organizing this whole Freshers event and they were wearing these shiny badges. And that's when I was fascinated and I dreamt of being in that club. So there were six vigorous rounds where the first round was about male drafting. The role of secretary came into use here. And then there were five rounds of stresses, stress round and then came one to one interview with the campus coordinator and we also had an interview with the director. There were 400 applicants and there were eight people who were selected and I was one of them. Toastmasters has played the greatest role in this journey of me joining the club. This role was all about public relations and the leadership style I could implement here is authoritative leadership which means authoritative is nothing but uh, taking up long-term decisions. We, as a club, had to organize two major events. The first event was called e-summit, where there were dignitaries and leading, uh, leading industrialists who came to address us, and there was Bharat uh, Basuraj Bomai who came and addressed all of us. So I was in the core committee heading the hospitality department, and from, the, uh, from, when the entry, from when the guest entered the organization, until they had an exit, I had to take care of it. And then we had an other uh, event called as Ushas, which is a national level inter-college event. From inviting colleges to participate in the event, until we gave the trophy to them, it was all on us. So for these events, I could just not use one type of leadership. I used a combination of authoritative and bureaucratic leadership, which worked the most for me. It did not end here. I was also elected as a class representative of mentoring sessions 
and I am also a member of discipline committee. So there were various situations where I had to encounter many, many uh, difficulties for which I used different leadership styles. And there was, a re there was an incident that recently happened that there was a group assignment that was handed over to us and none of my group members even replied to my message because we had various assignments and events going on. So what I did as a class, a class representative, I took up the responsibility, I took up the charge and finished the whole assignment by myself and put all the, all the students' name in that. And we all were awarded the same marks. A kid who used to go and complain smallest of the things to the teachers could finish the whole assignment by, my, by herself, awarded the same marks to the students and did not even complain to the teacher. See the transition here. And later, I got to know that uh, combination of leadership styles is what I can experience rather than just one. Leadership is always not about being perfect or it is always not about uh, timing the goals. It is about listening to the people and understanding your leadership style and the team leadership style. When I took up the test in the Toastmaster International website, I got to know that the combination leadership style worked best for me. And that is when I realized I am a perfect blend of my parents and I am a perfect daughter because my father uh, had bureaucratic leadership style and my mother had associative leadership style. So that is what I inculcated. So in further leadership roles, instead of taking just one leadership style as mine, it is better to take combination leadership, leadership is what I want. So thank you and back then. Thank you, Toastmaster Sharini. By this, we have come to the end of the first session, that is the prepared speech session. Now I can take a few uh, deep breath, not because the actual master of ceremonies have come, but because now we have the table topic session hosted by someone who gives a boost of energy to all of us here. And I'm sure the boring session which has happened till now, if I'm if I'm right, now it will be energized with his energy. So our table topic master for today is known for the energy as I told you and uh, he's a teacher, trainer and a corporate host who has hosted for more than 700 uh, corporate shows. Please put your hands together and help me welcome our table topic master for today, Toastmaster Balaji. <laughs> Thank you so much for praising me and, and, and clearly murdering everybody who spoke before me. <laughs> so fantastic evening uh, as your table topic master. I'm going to keep this real fast, quick and meaningful. Firstly, I think uh, rule number one, this is going to be impromptu speaking. So what I would expect from each one of you is to get here with, with or without clarity just try to hit that one to two minutes on the clock and definitely don't go beyond two, two and a half minutes because we have authoritative leadership in place, uh, Toastmaster Ujwal, and he will definitely fire your particular piece of talk, right? So the rules of the game is quite clear and for the guest's sake, if you're a guest here, watch the entire table topics, you'll get full clarity because I don't have a topic for you anyway. Right. So as a part of a table topic session, I also watch every single individual to be a good listener. To be a good listener means please listen to the topic very clearly. It might be a long topic, but it's a very simple topic. So if you are a good listener, you have got the topic. As a part of further amplifying your listening skills, if you don't get the topic when I say it out loud, please don't ask for the topic here behind the lectern because I'm not giving you. So what do you do? Speak about anything for two minutes. <laughs> anything that you want, maybe give your icebreaker in two minutes. But I'm not repeating my topic because I don't want the general evaluator telling your topics were very long for the participants to remember. It's not that. Participants are bad listeners, general evaluator. And that's why they don't remember. In the pursuit of listening and giving two minutes to the speakers, my first topic is this. If animals could talk, if 
animals could talk which one would be the funniest and why if animals could talk which one would be the funniest and why and of course to this veteran who's come back today toastmaster social thank you for the topic toastmaster balaji when i decided to come i looked at the theme of the day the theme was artificial intelligence i got super prepared learned everything about artificial intelligence just that i could answer the table topic but balaji has something else in his mind he's talking about animals the funniest animal if it could talk i've been a pet lover for a long time i have also petted dogs and cats out of my experience i can very clearly say cats are the worst animals if they could talk <laughs> you see balaji uh, if you own a dog dog sees you as a god but if, if any of you own a cat cat sees itself as a god <laughs> the problem with the cat's attitudes attitude can make it one of the funniest and one of the worst animal if it could talk i finished my one minute i got the green card it's been a long time since i've been here thank you and back to the table talk thank you so much to us master so shut <coughs> we have a lot of holidays okay uh, i'm not going to name those holidays because it could awaken the ppe we have a lot of holidays but if you could invent a new holiday if you could invent a new holiday without including sex religion and politics and explain how people would celebrate it so the topic is simple invent a new holiday and explain how people would celebrate it and the topic goes to toastmaster raja good evening uh, table topics master and fellow toastmasters if uh, i could come up with a holiday that would be the holiday for father or dads <laughs> there is a fathers day but it is not a holiday <laughs> uh, so how we would celebrate is uh, have some me time and uh, you know before having kids the life is different but once you have kids it's a different life and uh, there is a lot of focus that is given on the family on the kids but what about spending time for yourself right so i'm not complaining but since that's the topic so what i would do is uh, have the the dads or the fathers day and then celebrate it by going out with friends uh, have some me time and 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 that is how uh, i will be and uh, that that is what i'll be announcing uh, as the holiday thank you and back to you what if what if your pet had a job what if your pet had a job what occupation would suit them the best your pet having a job what occupation would suit them the best and why of course you all think it goes to evaluator but i'm not going to give it to the evaluator let's give it to toastmaster mohanish uh, thank you table topping master balaji well if i had a pet well i don't have a pet but if i do have a pet i would probably have a dog because like uh, you should say dogs are more friendly and loyal well uh, okay if a dog had a job uh that's a tough one okay so if dogs had jobs then uh, probably no a lot of dogs are used for therapy right so i think that would be a good game changing i mean it's not jody there but i think uh, it's not really considered in a large scale a lot of people today have a lot of problem of being lonely with going to they going to depression 
and I think dogs are good companions. Well, it's been proved, and they're very loyal and they're very, you know, bubbly. I don't know. Dogs always have this high energy, which uh, I don't think any animal has. So even if you give them a small treat, they're always happy. Like us, we are used to being greedy. Once we have something, we want something else. But for a dog, I think it's very simple: spending time with their human, it's their close friend. I think that is something that we should all learn, and that I think that is something that a, a dog can be really good at, right? So I think probably if I have a pet, it would be a dog, and I think it would be a good uh, a therapist, right? And can listen also. With that, back to you. If you could have dinner, if you could have dinner with any fictional character, if you could have dinner with any fictional character, who would it be and why? Who would it be and why? And this topic goes to Toastmaster Snehal. Tabletop is master, fellow Toastmasters and guests. Dinner is something we all fancy, sometimes with the candlelight dinner, with someone you really want to you know, have the dinner with. There's this one character that a long back I watched. Um, I don't know. <laughs> it's been two weeks, I got rusty, I guess. Start again. Table topic master for the close <laughs> master and guest. When I was six years old, there was a fictional character called Ben 10. How many of you remember this? <laughs> it was quite interesting for me to watch it every week at 5:30, every day at 5:30, right after school. And I used to wonder what would it be like to have all the power to switch characters as and when you need it. Maybe that's something I would like to know and ask him. Why would he pick some character at any point of time? Because fiction is something, it changes and evolves as the story goes on. You really don't know what is in the store next until you are the character itself. Something that you've built. This is one thing I would uh, probably have dinner to just for that curiosity. <laughs> it, it, it does happen when you are thinking of a female fictional character and go back to male <laughs> fictional character. Uh, notes for you, table topic master, past comments. Sometimes he can't control. Okay, my next topic. If you were a superhero with a really bizarre power. <coughs> if you were a superhero with a really bizarre power, what would that power be and what would you be called? DTM MU but <laughs> Table topic master, fellow toast masters and welcome guests. This bizarre thoughts what our table topics talk, talking about. <laughs> Probably many a time in my life uh, when I got time to spend and I got nothing better to do. I imagine what will happen if I am doing that. What will happen if I take this power? What, what will happen if I take that power? You know, these kind of thoughts keep coming to my mind many times. I think many of you might have experienced a similar situation. You wish I had the power like this. For example, even from my childhood, I was having this particular hang up to say that I will have a power, super power, of being totally, you know, like a Mr. X or Mr. India, as Anil Kapoor was uh, in the, uh, what is that movie Mr. called? India. Mr. India. Ah, Mr. India, not Mr. India. And there was a picture called Mr. X also, where a person can totally vanish, you know, he doesn't feel at all, he doesn't, he's not seen anywhere. So why that thought came to my mind? Because I have been a perfectionist or I have been a, you know, kind of a highly patriotic person. I always feel, you know, the kind when I see this kind of uh, 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 terrorism happening the world over, 
I was thinking that if I had this super power, I would probably be able to contribute something to control these elements. That's the thought which comes to me repeatedly many a times. Even now, even I am 75 years old, I am quite old man. It looks very silly to have such thoughts in your mind. But even then I feel if really a person with good intention has got such power as getting you know, vanished and be able to do something, probably he can do something great for the society. So that particular thought keeps coming to my mind even today. And probably I don't know, someday some person with good intention might really get that power and do something to the society. That's my hope for the society at large. With that, back to you. What if you woke up and found out gravity was reversed for a day? What if you woke up and found out gravity was reversed for a day? For the ones who don't know what gravity is, you might get an idea now. Toastmaster Sindhushri. Gravity was reversed for a day. Um, never actually discovered this particular concept in my head because you know, every time you go to a washroom or in the rooms, especially in summers, you see lizards on the wall or you see any other kind of insect that's going or crawling on the wall and you think for a moment, what if it falls on me? Or what if, what if it just flies and comes on me? And then what if it just comes near or sometimes you touch it and everything? And this particular trauma can actually come to the gravity reverses. And I'm just imagining the chaos that goes behind us shouting, calling for our father and we chasing that around the house and hitting that. And in respect of everything, somehow it survives. <coughs> and finally, we are still shouting end of the day. I think gravity reversal is the ultimate trauma, something that everybody can think of. Because it's very difficult, you know, staying up on the ground for a lot of people, in respect of all the humbleness that we have. But coming to the materialistic things, coming to all the other parts of it, I think without gravity, all of us cannot stay on the ground. And uh, reversal of it is very difficult because then all the things just falls on your head and hopefully we all have that power of floating around in the space and apart from that nothing else but uh, taking it in a very philosophical concept I think all of us should stay on the ground and not try to reverse ourselves and try to do some other things. Thank you and back to you. You were a desert, sweet, <laughs> not the Sahara third, is it? If you were a desert, what desert would you be and why? If you were a desert, what desert would you be and why? Toastmaster Abhiman. <laughs> Good evening fellow Toastmasters and guests present here. If I was a desert, I just chose my favorite desert, it's Kulab Jamun. Right? Uh, I would be Kulab Jamun, I guess. Uh, yeah, everyone likes to eat food, everyone likes to eat deserts, but it, uh, it can put on a lot of weight. <laughs> and, and you have to work out so much after eating desserts to to like neutralize the effect. <coughs> I don't know what else I can do when I find my gulab jamun. <laughs> Everybody should be health conscious and meet in that events. Thank you. Invent 
a new word invent a new word and give it a humorous definition invent a new word and give it a humorous definition topic goes to dtm ak prabhakara Table topic master, fellow toast master, and welcome. This this is all I can say about this topic. It's not easy to invent. Maybe we can discover. There are two different things. The most usual way to discover is to create acronym. My own way of looking at toast master speeches is O B C. interpretation is opening body control lot of acronyms i have created and then for a story it is triple c pass new word you can use it and triple c what it stands for is not called fault to ask i can explain elsewhere and you form any of these things and it will form new word for it fomo like that you can form your own word and start using it if you are popular or influencing influencer enough it will catch up i would say uh, when i invent i should be already famous because others have to use it otherwise it is of no use so i would say why fine <clears throat> it sounds all right it's easy to catch up if i can find something like that it will be useful otherwise it will not be used it's of no use over to table topic master describe a day in the life of your smartphone if it had feelings okay your smartphone is finally come to life okay so describe a day in the life of your smartphone if it had feelings and the topic goes to toastmaster anusha good evening to everyone i think i'm come, coming up to like a really long time and every time i came i would just come for my speeches and be like oh i spoke on my speeches they're not going to call me for table topic but i think today balaji has caught me and if my phone had feelings okay so i think at least in the generation i am part of i extensively use my phone a lot even from the minute i open my eyes i know which is a very bad habit but till i go to bed i am just with my phone probably my phone would be wondering why i am on my phone so much and probably instagram knows me better than i do myself it knows me so well that If I am doing something, the next minute it knows what what it has to show. If I am probably like you know going to a restaurant, it'll it'll send me with so many food reels, desserts, try this, try that, and it's it's like it knows me more than I know myself. And yeah, and okay, <laughs> and um, it'll also probably be wondering like why are you so stuck up on your phone? Go do that, go do this. There's so much apart from this. I know I'm here to catch your attention, but like still just go do other things. Probably. Thank you. That's static. <laughs> static. Generally, I don't give shocks. Yeah, I didn't know. Well, then I think you gave me the static. <laughs> okay. So uh, moving on to our last topic for the day. Voila! You finally found the Almighty. and he is here to grant you a wish one power one materialistic power that you could take from this super power what would it be and why toastmaster chetan
one power I could take from the Almighty. Ah, the power to invent. Do you know about, um, I don't know, maybe 150, 200 years ago, Isaac Newton had this insane realization when he combined two completely disconnected ideas. He realized that uh, Kepler's laws of motion state planets revolve around each other. And he realized that um, Newton, uh, sorry, Galileo said that if you drop two balls of unequal size, they will still fall to the ground at the same rate. What he discovered, but before that it was always believed that you know a feather and a ball would fall at different rates. So he combined these two ideas and suddenly realized that planets are always just falling at each other at the same time. So imagine having to just realize two completely disconnected things and just combine them. When he realized that, he combined and created the laws of gravity. He was a pioneer, he created, he realized force, he, created, he realized a lot of other things, but he had the uncanny ability to create insane ideas by combining two disconnected ideas from two disconnected fields. And I would love to do that. Oh my God, I would love to do that. Things like music is, is basically, well, it's Fourier transforms actually, but that's how they do compression. Okay. You take it, you, you do a Fourier transform, which is basically taking out the frequency of the music and you see how much, how often it's played, how much it's played. And then you cut off the high frequency stuff. You have a compressed version of the entire thing. That's how they do it. It's that simple. So all, I wish I could do this. I wish I could take, I don't know, a cellophane tape and some chemistry, combine the two and I have glass. Who knows? Thank you so much to all those speakers who took this unconventional topic and made it into or turned it into a conventional table topic speech. <laughs> With that, over to the master of the day. Which one? This one. <laughs> Toastmaster Pavli. She works as a HR manager at Infocon and had earlier worked with youth for SEVA. I would now like to hand over the session to the general evaluator, Toastmaster Jyoti. Please welcome her with a huge round of applause. Thank you, Master of Ceremony, for that wonderful uh, introduction. Good evening, Toastmasters and guests. Uh, I see we have another guest who uh, joined us a bit later, so please can you introduce yourself, introduce yourself and let us know how did you come to know about Toastmasters? <coughs> yes. Hi everyone. I you can raise, and, uh, raise up from your seat right now. Hi everyone, uh, I'm Shubha. This is my second time here. I missed the introduction that I made last day. But, um, I was actually wanting, I was searching for a space to uh, deliver speeches, speeches and be comfortable with speaking out. Uh, so I was also told by my senior at work uh, to join something. So I just Google mapped uh, communication club and I'd always heard of Toastmasters, uh, a friend's cousin was actively involved and there was this uh, international kind of voting for speakers, so I've been a part of that and I've heard some speeches, but now I thought I should actually uh, come and see what, what it's like. So yeah, that was why I wanted to join. Uh, okay. Thank you, and I'm sure you would have liked this amazing uh, session we had today and you'll make up your mind sooner. Yeah. So, uh, to start with the general evaluation, I will be like uh, evaluating the proceedings of the meeting, what went very well and what can be done to make it better if there has been any uh, shortcomings. So uh, we started the meeting at 6.20.
compared to last time it was 617 or 618 so we are a couple of minutes late and uh, i so much see the committee members making complete efforts to ensure that the TV meeting takes place at the right time so maybe we can start off at 6.15, the, like the way we did it today, and I'm sure members will take it as a cue to be in time. So um, let's do that from the coming week, and a big round of applause for the meeting to start at 6.20. Toastmaster Shiva who spoke about the coming up uh, uh, contest for the coming Monday and also about from the sec uh, from uh, Toastmaster Sharani about the renewal of uh, their uh, membership. membership so we have another two three people who have to do it for us to get the rock star loader uh, award so <laughs> I would uh, urge few of the members who are keen to do it to uh, renew your membership at the earliest, maybe by tomorrow, end of tomorrow. To, to start with, Sergeant at Arms, uh, Toastmaster Pavni. Whoa! Now, Toastmaster Pavni has the willingness to take any role. She is always there. She is the acting uh, uh, sergeant in arms today. And I like from the way she started from the age old letter writing to the small devices. She took us to the whole uh, stretch of uh, changes that uh, evolution that has happened throughout. And uh, she marked, she uh, stressed on the uh, saying that Artificial intelligence are human companions and human intelligence are the one who have made it. So like to keep, she reaffirmed saying that human intelligence is high at par compared to artificial intelligence. So that was my takeaway. Very well done to, to uh, Toastmaster Pavni. And then we had the secretary, uh, Toastmaster Mehijabeen, I think this was her debut, uh, secretary, uh, minutes of meeting, reading for the minutes of reading, reading the minutes of the meeting, which was very well delivered. And uh, for the first time, you were very clear. There was one thing is, you could take it a bit slow, because f for some of us, listening was like comprehending it for, at a very fast pace. But otherwise, it was very clear and very audible till the end. So you, your uh, speech tone and clarity was very good. So a big round of applause to Toastmaster Master <laughs> Then we had uh, President Ujwal uh, given a speech, which was amazing from chat gpt chat gpt chat gpt and today i have really learned about what and who is chat gpt i was not sure what it is about but today i am clear and i also like uh, uh, president ujwal has created like there was humor there was so much uh, there was uh, his personal story that he spoke about which we could all relate to and the takeaway message here was once again that human beings are the one who create artificial intelligence and not vice versa. Today, we are getting carried over by thinking that uh, artificial intelligence is more intelligent than you human, human. So a repetitive telling about this is giving us a clarity, giving me a clarity that we are still more intelligent. So a very well done to toast my president by Ujwal. <laughs> For the um, MC of the day, I shall take it a bit later. And we shall start with the evaluation of the speaker. The first speaker was Toastmaster Apurva, whose evaluator is Toastmaster Gaurav. Uh, have you received, uh, did you receive the evaluation form? Yeah. And the PDF of the speech specific specification? Yeah. And were you able to read it in advance? Yeah. 
<laughs> so now I would uh, call upon evaluator Gaurav to evaluate uh, speaker Toastmaster Purva. Good evening to all the Toastmasters and to all the guests present here. A uh, very good evening to my target speaker, Toastmaster Apurva. So she attempted level one project for speech one. So what I really, I mean, I, first of all, I felt very difficult to evaluate your speech because it was very difficult for me to find few things which he has to work upon. So I'll be dividing your uh, evaluation into two parts, what you excel at and what you have to work upon. The first thing, amazing title. The title grabbed my attention. I don't know about others, but it grabbed my attention. I was very keen to know what you're going to talk about. And you started off with a perfect question about the technology and can you live a day without your phone? Which grabbed everyone's attention because we are in a world where we are uh, surrounded with smartphones and we cannot imagine our life without smartphones. So you grabbed your, uh, grabbed your audience's attention with a very good question. And you had an amazing stage presence. So I could see that when you're demonstrating your father, you use this side of his stage, and you're demonstrating your son, you use your left side of his stage. That was amazing. And you had a very good body language. So today, not only your words were speaking, but even your body was speaking amazing. So when you were used to, when you said that you took a step back, you actually took a step back and showed uh, what that demonstrates what a confident speaker you're behind the left. You had amazing humor in between when you said your first uh, word that your son uttered was A for Alexa. So that was an amazing humor, but I would say just give it a few seconds so that the audience can grasp that humor, let them laugh out loud, then you continue. Don't be in a hurry. And a very good conclusion where you said, uh, can you uh, say what was my uh, son's first word and everyone said Alexa, you said no, A for Amma. So that was an amazing conclusion which really impressed me. And I had to you know, nitpick few things we have to work upon because you know, project speech says that you have to, I have to give you a few feedback. You had amazing eye contact. Uh, no wonder you did, you, did, uh, you did a good job. But what I observe is when you move towards the right side, you're, you're demonstrating your father. Your eye contact was restricted only towards this side. You forget your right hand side. And when you go towards the left hand side, you were just speaking towards this or when you forgot these people. So I would say when wherever you're standing, ensure you uh, look throughout the room uh, so that the others may not lose attention. And second, as I told you, you had amazing uh, stage presence, but what I observed is when you're talking towards the left hand side, you finish talking, then you walk, and there's that two to three seconds of silence, and then you start here. So I would say when you're talking here, talk and then transition. So that, that silence won't be there and people won't lose their attention towards your speech. Let's forget the fact that you forgot your speech in between. It's okay to be blank. Everybody has been through that in the start. But I would just give you one suggestion. Practice a bit more. You seem to be a little tense behind the left hand. It's okay. Practice a bit more. And if in case you have that tendency to forget, take a sticky note or a small piece of paper. Write down few key points that when you look at that word, you remember your speech. Maybe in a paragraph, there's one keyword which will help you remember that speech. So make sure it have that small, small sticky note and stick it over here and maybe you can just look at it and then continue forward. A great speech. All the best for, for, for the speech. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Toastmaster Gaurav. Toastmaster Gauro once again proves that he is such a good listener and such a good observer. The, the minute of the thing he has spoken about, uh, uh, I'm not going to talk about uh, Toastmaster Purva's speech, but rather what Gauro has said. And uh, he spoke very well about uh, the areas uh, where she could uh, progress. And I much appreciate when he did not stress on whatever was forgotten during the speech, but rather put it out more uh, openly that what all can be done to avoid forgetting it. So one thing I would like to, uh, as a feedback, give to Toastmaster Gaurav is 
it's not only Toastmaster Gaurav, many of us, when we do evaluation, we look at the speaker themselves, but there are others also who will be benefited with these evaluation, like using the complete uh, space behind the lectern and looking at all the audience. So it need not be with the speaker all alone, but otherwise Gaurav's uh, evaluation was very precise and very, um, I would say, encouraging. So a big round of uh, applause to both the speaker and the evaluator. And now uh, for the speaker, uh, for the yeah, speaker Sharanese evaluator, Toastmaster Shiva, did you receive the evaluation form? Yes. Much earlier. <laughs> yes. And the PDF of the speech specification, did you receive it? Yes. And were you able to read it through? Before yes, the meeting, yes. Thankfully, yes. yes. So I would now call upon Toastmaster Shiva to evaluate Speaker Sharani's speech. I was preparing for my BCom exam, leadership development. Ten mark question I could see. Describe ten leadership styles and link it to your life. Didn't know the answer. Opened the Neeraj scanner. <laughs> Instead of the script, I could see Sarane's speech playing. <laughs> General evaluator, fellow Toastmasters and esteemed guests. Toastmaster Sarane delivered an incredible speech for us on leadership and how it has impacted her life. Let me start off with where I felt the speech, where I felt the speaker did very well. Uh, first point, outstanding clarity. Toastmaster Sarane possesses a booming voice and there was zero mumbling and jumbling. Even though the speech was so content heavy, she uh, at no point stopped and it just kept going. It was like a knife through butter. It was like once you start sliding on ice and it just keeps going. It was that smooth, even though there was so much content. Right? So I want to commend you for that. Second thing I felt was the project purpose. Obviously the speaker has to speak about different leadership styles or what their style is in particular. and. I have to just say kudos to Toastmaster Serenay's memory and retention capacities. The number of styles that came throughout her speech, bureaucratic, associative, innovative, altruistic, authoritative, I would have given up writing my script, uh, script at that point. Right? So, that, so this was done wonderfully well. Every leadership style, she just saw that this little story is there in my life, I can connect it. And I felt it was done very well. The third point is the eye contact. At, at no point I felt that anybody in the audience was left out, so that was also done very well on your part. Coming to where the speech could have been improved, the first, the obvious point was the timing of the speech, 8 minutes and 37 seconds. And speaking about so many leadership styles, what I felt was you can do something wherein the website gives you a questionnaire and it says that you score highest on this, second highest on this. So maybe pick two or three leadership styles and zero in on those and maybe elaborate on those stories that you have. The second point is of course the vocal variety. As I said, elaborate on those stories and when you uh, maybe let's say in 7th standard I became the prefect of the class and I felt so perfect. Maybe add a little bit of depth there, a little bit of emotion there so that the audience becomes more involved. The audience which is listening to you at 6.45 in the evening, right? Uh, so a bit more twists and turns in that story would have been wonderful and I would suggest focusing more on quality rather than quantity. Uh, so to summarize the speech, Toastmaster Sharni, an amazing speech, outstanding clarity, exemplary fulfillment of the project purpose and if the focus would be on quality rather than quantity, it would have been a much more wonderful speech. Over to the general <laughs> Toastmaster Shiva, Toastmaster Shiva's evaluation has a, has the uh, fundamental thing that we speak about at Toastmaster, the OBC, opening body and conclusion. That is amazing. He starts with the opening and then comes with uh, good evening Toastmaster. So that initial couple of sentence completely grabs our attention. And then Toastmaster Shiva also has this gestures that speak a lot along with his powerful words which really makes an impact on the speaker and also on the listeners who tomorrow are going to give their evaluate i mean give their speech 
which will help them to create uh, craft their speeches and i also observed that he had three points of encouraging uh, the speaker initially and there were two points that he brought in as a, a point where the speaker could improve and then he summarized his entire speech saying that how well it was and how much impact it has made on all of us including himself that speaks about the evaluator and a big round of uh, applause to toastmaster shiva and charani so now that uh, the evaluation has been done i would uh, request all of you to uh, open your cell phone and uh, click on the ballot for the best speaker and the best evaluator I would call upon the PAPG role takers to come and give their uh, report. Timer, Toastmaster Gajendra. <laughs> the business uh, the meeting commenced at 6:20 pm and the business session took uh, the business uh, session took a time duration of 1 minute 19 seconds the welcome of sergeant arms was allotted 2 minutes and it took 2 minutes 46 seconds the president address was allotted for 5 minutes and it took 4 minutes 3 seconds the report on previous meeting was 2 minutes and it took 2 minutes 30, 35 seconds. The motion of uh, ceremonies time allotted was 20 minutes and it took 10 minutes 32 seconds. Speakers, uh, the prepared, spe uh, prepared speech uh, speakers were Apurva for, which was uh, allotted 5 to 7 minutes took uh, 7 minutes 30, 38 seconds and uh, evaluator Gaurav took uh, the allotted time was 3 minutes and it took 3 minutes 35 seconds prepared speaker uh, prepared speech speaker uh, second speaker sharanye was allotted 5 to 7 minutes and she took 8 minutes 37 seconds and the evaluator to uh, shiva prasad uh, allotted time was 3 minutes and he took uh, 2 minutes 56 seconds the table topics uh, was allotted for 20 minutes and it took uh, 24 minutes and uh, the break time was for 10 minutes and it took uh, 11 minutes 37 seconds and the general water time is running from 9 minutes plus is going at 15 minutes right now and we will continue thank you thank you toastmaster gajendra uh, it's very good to see the new to uh, new joint toastmaster taking roles after uh, week after week and you have been very precise about uh, making notes on the board and I'm sure you would have taken much effort to keep a keen observation on the timings and I, I get it the timer most of the time cannot give 100% of listening to the speaker and has to be on the uh, looking at the time. One more thing I would uh, put across to Toastmaster Gajendra and for everyone who is here as Toastmaster, we need not apologize when we do something uh, right or wrong because we are here to learn. The moment we say we are sorry, it is we, we ourselves are putting ourselves down, comparing it with someone else or uh, some other situation which we need not do it here. So for that, a big round of applause to Toastmaster Gajendra. And now I call, call upon Toastmaster Saket as a grammarian uh, to give a grammarian report. Good evening to the Toastmaster and welcome guest. So as a grammarian for today, I'm going to tell out the good usage and the words that the speaker spoke behind the lectern today. Uh, impossible to impossible, august, 
टीम टेक्नोलॉजी वर्सेस टीम अम्मा ब्यूरो ब्यूरोक्रेटिक रूल विगरस एंड कमिंग टू नॉट टू यूसेज और द इम्प्रूव और द मिस प्रोनाउंस वर्ड्स द वर्ड वॉज पासवर्ड एंड आई फेल्ट इट वॉज मिस प्रोनाउंस टू पासपोर्ट और पास कॉल्ट एंड द वर्ड ऑफ द डे एलिविएट only uh, toastmaster approval has used it so thank you thank you toastmaster saket for the grammarian role you have made a note about the good usage and the not so good usage and i'm sure it would have taken a lot of your effort to listen to them and to make notes about it which you have done wonderfully uh one more thing uh, my suggestion is when as a grammarian when we give a report we have good usages and not so good usages uh, my suggestion is that the not good so usages should be read out first and the good usages should be read out later because the impact what we take away from here is the thing that we listen at the end and the good usage will really make a uh, wonderful impact to the listeners with that a uh, thunderous round of applause to toastmaster sakhi <laughs> and now i call upon um, toastmaster vijay upendra for the our counter report thank you ji good evening toastmasters and guests my our counter report is like this toastmaster pavani Six hours, and uh, Associate Secretary Mazubin one hour, Ujwal one hour, Bajendra one hour, Vijay Upendra one hour, Chetan one hour, Apurva long pass, and used word ya yeah. that would have been avoided, and uh, Gaurav flawless, Sharanya five hours, and the word I. you used to many times shiv prasad flawless balaji 1 hour shushut 1 hour raja flawless monish 1 hour sai snehal 1 hour dtm mu but flawless sindhu shri flawless abhiman long pass dtm ak prabhakara one long pass sorry flawless anusha flawless chetan to used one word ya yeah. jyoti till now four hours thank you and back to you thank you toastmaster uh, vijay toastmaster vijay has a very clear idea about what his role is all about and he ensures that when he gives his report it is short and to the point and that is his style of speech of whatever he takes up and a big round of applause to toastmaster vijay <laughs> i now call upon toastmaster chetan to give his uh, ppe evaluation report good evening toastmasters today was a very clean session nobody was walking in and out in between speeches there was no misuse of phones and no unnecessary talk of sex politics or religion so thank you thank you toastmaster chetan this shows that your observation and listening skills was high during the meeting there's one more suggestion it's not only for toastmaster chetan but anyone who takes up the lectern uh when you finish whatever you are speaking about as you leave the lectern you may say over to the master of the ceremony because abruptly when you stop your speech is done your whatever you have to say is done and you walk out that is quite abrupt so you can say over to the master of the ceremony or over to the table topic master whoever it is so with that we have completed the tapg role takers uh, report a big round of applause for them and now we have the table topic master toastmaster balaji 
very, very glad to see you back in action <laughs> without uh, the tag of the president or anything to give you, to see you in your uh, versatile style, which inspires the whole audience who is sitting here. So your, your session was wonderful, very different, very exciting. I, I liked when you started the statement of, I'm going to give you the topic. It is not about being long or short or simple. It is about your listening skills. So we are coming back today that every time a speaker is here, it is the speaker who is going to enhance his speaking skills. It is the audience who are going to enhance their listening skills. So you made it very clear on that. So kudos to you. Your topic was simple. Your topic was what I, my suggestion is, like you said, invent a new word, stop. Other thing, whether it is going, he is going to define it humorously or anything is the speaker's choice. What happened, like most of us got confused when there was a limitation. As such, we have to uh, think in, uh, by the time we come from there till here, and on that we had, uh, like uh, you said, mm, what, what, what job would your pet do? That's it. We need not add more to it because then it becomes limited for the speaker to talk about. Apart from that, it was wonderfully done. It was very fun filled. And one more thing for the speakers during the uh, table topic session, please avoid looking at the table topic master. He has given you a topic. You are not giving your report to him. I see most of the speakers looking at the, today it is Toastmaster Balaji, but whoever is the table talk master, they look at them and they talk. God, it is scary. I, I feel scared. We are addressing the audience, so. I am with you. <laughs> so, for the speakers, you can talk to the, speak to the audience. Otherwise, a very wonderful table topic session, and we thoroughly enjoyed it. A big round of applause for Tosh Master Balaji. So now we come back to Toast Master Pauni, the master of this ceremony today. Now, before even I start something, let's give a big round of applause for the master of the ceremony, Toastmaster Pauni. <laughs> the role was given to her at that moment. She had not prepared herself. It was the circumstances demanded her to take up that role, and she did so, she did so perfectly well. Her confidence. Her adaptability to take the role was amazing and inspiring for all of us and I am one of that like oh wow we can do it in a moment. So that was very wonderful uh, regarding you Toastmaster Pavni and uh, I have nothing more to add to it. <laughs> Because yes, you uh, alle alleviated <coughs> the uh, meeting here with your uh, immediate uh, acceptance of the role. And once again, not to Toastmaster Pamni for, but anyone who takes the, the role of the MC, when you are introducing a speaker after the introduction, take the title name and then the speaker. Because when the speaker, it is it is very beautiful. The speaker is coming and there is a thunderous round of applause, which actually energizes the speaker. But when we speak about the title, and title is very important, like what uh, Toastmaster uh, Gaurav said. The first thing that uh, captured his uh, eye was the title. So title is important. So let the title get the uh, pride that is taken by the speaker. And then we introduce the speaker. I think this is all about the evaluation. I hope I have not missed anyone. And over to the uh, MC of the day. Thank you, Toastmaster.
Master Jyoti for such an insightful session. I hope everyone had some takeaway to your home today, some lesson that you learned today. With this, I hand over the charge uh, back to the President, Toastmaster Ujjwal. Well, before I announce the winners for the week, uh, I have a couple of observations to make uh, in today's meeting. First of all, I mean, if I'm not wrong, uh, it was way beyond uh, when, when, we were, when, we were, when we were having the online meetings. Uh, it was that time, due to the techni technical glitch, Tosmas Sai Snell came up and then he took up the role of MC. It was an impromptu uh, session for him that day. And then after that, uh, today was the day where uh, Toastmaster Pavani took up that impromptu uh, MC session and then she did it exceptionally well. So uh, I would like to uh, thank Toastmaster Pavani for taking up that role at that end moment. So kudos to you on that. Let us give her a third round of applause. <laughs> and moving on, uh, it, it was, very, uh, as, uh, as uh, GE said, it was very nice and then very happy to see Toastmaster Balaji back uh, with full of, uh, what I call, with full of uh, membership after that uh, presidential uh, role for the last term. So thank you Toastmaster Balaji for taking up this role and then you have done exceptionally well. And then of course, how can you miss our GE's session where it was a textbook general evaluation. So thank you so much for all the role takers and then uh, for all the speakers and the evaluators as well. Now I think we can move on with the winners for the week. Let me start with the best role taker, MTG. So the best role taker, MTG, it goes to the person after so many days he has taken up this role. So it goes to Toastmaster Balaji. Moving on to the best role taker for tab G, it goes to the person who counted hours for the day. It goes to us, Master Bujar Pandra. <laughs> Moving on to the best table topic speaker for the day, it goes. To the last speaker in the table topic session, it goes to Toastmaster Chetan. <laughs> Moving on to the best evaluator for the day. Uh, meanwhile, it was it was very much uh, challenging for me to give up the. Uh, call the winner, but then yeah, now it's uh, much more evident. So it is none other than Toastmaster Shiva Prasad. <laughs> Coming to the best speaker for the day, it goes to the person who talk more about the leadership, so it goes to Toastmaster Sharani. I hope everyone had a uh, wonderful time in the meeting today. With this, I close meeting number 1248. Let us stand up for the night.